Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome to Noble Fates, which is a sort of settlement builder kingdom simulator type of game, I suppose, is the best way to describe it, where we have our little handful of characters, and we have to build and craft and farm and hunt and fight and all that kind of stuff. Now normally I don't like saying this game is a bit like that other game, I try and avoid doing direct comparisons, but in this case I think it will help perfectly describe this game. So Noble Fates is a sort of cross, if you'd like, between Founders for Fortune and Rimworld. It has quite a few elements from both games, which is no bad thing. I am absolutely 100% on board with that because I like both Founders Fortune and Rimworld. They are both fine, wonderful games. So this should be a lot of fun. I'm very much looking forward to diving in. It is in early access, so this is not the finished version of the game. But of course, if you're interested, then there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below. And we were given a key by the devs, which is very kind. So a huge thank you to them. But anyway, time to get on with it, I think. Let's go and start building our little settlement. Okay, here we go. And it looks like there is a bit of a backstory, which is very nice indeed. I do like a nice bit of backstory. So what exactly is going on? In a far, far away land, mortals vie for control over a physical plane of existence. Okay, look, so I guess that's what we're looking at here. Some mortals are going to have a fight and there's going to be, you know, a little bit of stabby stabby and choppy choppy and killy killy because, you know, they don't look very happy with each other. Okay, look, right. So mortals are having a fight, right? You are. A collection of gods govern this plane, striving for balance and sharing their powers with those they deem worthy. Okay, so we have the god of chucking a big spear, the god of a kind of a fire-breathing bird type thing, and the god of just having a nice drink. Maybe that's full of tea, that kind of chalice. That can be the god of having a nice kind of goblet or chalice full of tea. I like the sound of that god. Okay, oh dear, right, okay, so now there's demons, denizens of other planes stick their hands and claws in. For anything from pleasure to power, support to domination. Okie doke, right, so demons might be a thing. You are a Contra, a demigod with the power to influence and control mortals. Is that us? Is that us in the corner? Are we a sort of kind of weird magical blue blob type thing? Okay, that's exciting. So we're a Contra and we're a demigod. Okie doke. And there is a person wearing a crown. It's a very good crown. I like that crown. Look at the amount of pointy bits on that crown. That is a very good crown. Though still a novice, you seek to earn lasting recognition through the creation of the mightiest of all kingdoms. Can we focus back in on that and have a look at the crown again? That is very good. Wow. And look, there's the goblet. There's the goblet full of tea. Very important. Okie doke. So now we're playing as a demigod. You haven't had much luck so far. Okay, right. So we're struggling with our demigod kind of powers. Ah. Right, okay, there is a skeleton with a crown and an arrow sticking in the skeleton's eye. Okie doke, right, so things haven't gone entirely according to plan. Oh, and there we are, look. So we are playing a Contra called Kiern. It's so boring here, we're saying. It feels like I've been stuck in this smelly corpse for ages. Yeah, it does look like that corpse has been there for quite some time. It's a little bit kind of, it's a little bit sort of light on the flesh side of things. Um, who knew the fantastic hippies were so skilled at archery? Is there another kind of faction called the Fantastic Hippies? Because if so, we need to be friends with them because they sound amazing. Wait, someone's coming. Okay, who is coming? Can we find out who is coming? Okay, here come some people. Recently, four mortals, Lorne, Zim, Isaac and Meter, <laughs> deserted the Sleepy Axes to seek a new beginning. Okay. So I assume these are our starting four people. With your help, one will be crowned king or queen of a new kingdom this very day. Okay, this is very exciting. So Lorne, who is here, I assume. Zim, why did you leave the Sleepy Axes? And Zim, uh, who is a budding hoer, apparently, uh, says, my issue is that Countess Kelly loves human leather. Okay, yeah, I think that's a good reason to leave a place if the, the ruling person does like human leather. That's a little bit weird. Um, Isaac says, I don't care about human leather. Okay, this is a very sinister kind of thing going on. For me, it's not okay that Countess Kelly hates humans. Yeah, okay, we don't want any hatred going on. Uh, so Meter is a budding fighter. Okay, so Meter is this kind of orky looking character over here with the one adorable little tooth. Hey, over here, uh, Zim is the budding hoer. Well, 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 what's this? Uh, Lorne, who has wonderful green hair, says, looks like we've inherited a crown. Ah, okay, so they've happened across the uh, the skeleton. Okie doke. And Isaac is a budding fella. Who will wear it? Uh, says Isaac, also with amazing green hair, with a very good green beard. Have they even got green, I think they've even got green eyebrows. <laughs> That's very good. Spectacular green eyebrows going on. Um, who will wear it? 
As a Contra, you get to choose who will lead your new kingdom. Oh, okay, so we tried before and failed, and now we're going to give it another go. Okie doke. You'll have a special connection with your ruler, including the ability to control them directly. Okie doke. Choose wisely. Those with strong negative feelings towards your new ruler will not join your kingdom. Okay, but don't worry too much about it. Mortals are replaceable. Okay. Um, oh, okay. We just pick straight up now. So we can pick Meter the Fighter. Okay. Um, but yeah, so Zim. Ah, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. So if we put this over Meter, Zim says, if it's Meter, I'm out of here. But Lorn then says, Meter, they'd work. Oh, I see. Hang on. So if we say Isaac, uh, Zim is going to leave as well. So Meter uh, says, Isaac, whatever. But if we sort of hover over Isaac, Zim doesn't like that either. If we say it's going to be Zim, uh, then Isaac is going to leave. And if we say it's Lorn, then Isaac is going to leave. Okay, so we're going to lose whoever we choose. Possibly, we're going to lose either Isaac or Zim. Because, yeah, Meter and Lorne are not going to leave. Okay, so we've got ourselves a fighter, no matter what. And we have ourselves a grower, no matter what. So a fighter, useful for, you know, doing the fighting. Grower, useful for making sure we don't starve to death. So we've either got a fella or a hoer. Okay, hang on a minute, hang on. So what's all this stuff down here, then? So they've got strong opinions. So Meter has very strong opinions. It is all for corn and them braces, whatever they are. Um, but Ray doesn't like shoes or ripe meal beans or cows. <laughs> Meter has some very strong feelings against cows. Okay. Um, and you're good at guarding, logging and farming, but you're not very good at cooking, cleaning or mining. Okay. Right. So Isaac loves hats. Oh, Isaac. Isaac, me and you can get on just fine. You love hats and overripe meal beans. Uh, you don't like pumpkins, corn, human skin. Uh, okay. <laughs> Don't you have some of that? <laughs> kind of all over you. Uh, and orc leather. Okay, right. And you're good at logging, farming and mining. Uh, weaknesses. It says hauling and it's got a green thumb next to it. But okay. Uh, Zim. Uh, Zim. Oh, Zim is very negative with everything. Zim doesn't like... I don't know how I said that word. Quiruses. Quir uh, milk, hammers, cooked orc and cooked human. Okay, that's a little bit strange. Okay, but you're good at farming, hauling, and nursing. Um, and Lorn uh, does have some strong opinions on raw orc, overripe meal beans, and cooked beef. Uh, but doesn't like human leather, and that word I can't say. You're pretty good at farming, to be fair. Nursing and building. I think maybe, maybe, let's pick... I mean, who do we pick? I don't want to pick Lorn. I, Zim, I think Zim can go. I think Zim can go. So we either want to pick Meter or Isaac to be the leader. Um, do you want the fighter to be the leader? Or do we want Isaac to be? It's going to be Isaac because he has strong opinions on hats. <laughs> That's kind of all I'm basing it on. Okay, so Meter says, I don't really care about Isaac. And Lorne says, Isaac could work. Okay, yeah, there you go. Me, says Isaac. Yeah, let's go for Isaac. Yeah, okay, brilliant. Uh, Isaac, really? Says Zim. I won't follow you. Oh, Zim. Choose Isaac as your ruler. Yes, because he likes hats. And look, he's going to get a fancy hat. He's going to love that. That is very, very nice. It's got a good big pointy bit on the front. Okay, right. So now what happens? Henceforth, call me Dictator Isaac. Mm. <laughs> Can we call you sort of, you know, Mr. Isaac or something? All hail Dictator Isaac. I, I feel very uncomfortable. Um, hail, says Meter. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> we shall be known as... Uh, I don't know, known as what? The Stalking Imposters. No, that sound. No, no, not the Stalking Imposters. No, hang on, that's not it. We shall be known as... The... <laughs> The giant farts? You can't have that. No, I'm not going to go for that. No, hang on. That's not it. This is wonderful. We should be known as the Sultan Fing... No, that's just too weird. Right, hang on a minute. Come on, you must be able to get a good one. The, the giant beards. Um, I mean, you do have a bit. No, I don't that's right either. Hang on a minute. We should be known as the Castle Butchers. No, come on. These, none of these are sounding right. Something, something with hats. The Work Angels. That doesn't sound right either. Hang on. The, the Grungy Shackles. Yeah, okay. The grungy shackles it is. Fine, I see how it is. Yeah, we got there with the name in the end. <laughs> the grungy shackles. That rock over there would make a better ruler. Oh, Zim, I think it's time for you to leave. I'm out of here. I'm taking my share of the supplies with me. 
I suppose that's fair. We can't force you to join. One second, Zim. Allow Zim to leave. Yes, with supplies. Yes, without supplies. Detain Zim. Or execute Zim. Oh my goodness me. Right, okay. I think maybe let's make everybody happy. Zim, you can leave with some supplies. Because that seems fair. We're not monsters. Actually, never mind, says Dictator Isaac of the Grungy Shackles. Go ahead. Uh, we wish you luck on your further adventures. Okay, so Zim is going to curl off. Oh, and look, they're very adorable. Okay, so Zim and his wonderful teeth are going to go away. And Lorn, Meter, and Isaac are all very happily jumping around. Okay, so here we go. And I can very happily confirm that spacebar is pause, which is wonderful. Well done, game. Good stuff. Right, so let's take a little look around. So you can see, of course, our three characters. And then our sort of represented across the top here. So we have, I mean, he's called himself Dictator Isaac. I think maybe, maybe we'll just call you Isaac, possibly Mr. Isaac. So there's the boss. And then we've got Meter, the fighter, and then Lorn, whatever you were good at. What were you good at, Lorn? Hang on a minute. What were you good at? Have you got a skills thing somewhere? Um, oh, yeah, you were quite good at sort of logging, and you like doing the logging. Okay, so here we go. So we've got our three people. This is where they've left all of their resources. So they've just dropped everything on the floor. So we have ourselves some travel meals, and we've got some cotton seeds, and some grapes, and some corn seeds. I think is that little piles of money. Yes, we've got a little bit of money for trading as well. So yeah, we've got sort of a basic supplies going on. And then we have the world. And it's very big. My goodness me. And I think, is it raining? Hang on, if we unpause time. Um, yeah, it's raining as well. How very nice. So yeah, there's all sorts going on over here. There's loads of trees. There's a bit of a hill over here. What's that over there? Right, there's some berry bushes over there. And... Um, what else is around the place? A big hill. There's some rocks over there. There's some water over there. I don't know if we can make use of water with sort of fishing or whatever. There is a bit of a raised platform over here. I think this might be a good place to set up. Possibly. I mean, even maybe on here. On here might be quite good. And then could we have like a great big lookout tower on the top of that massive hill? Because that would be quite exciting, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I think on here looks good. And then, yeah, we'll try and build a wall maybe down here or something. Am I getting too ambitious? But yeah, all I'm thinking is there's quite a lot of um, berry bushes over here. So we can get some food. And it's relatively kind of open and flat. And there's loads of trees down here. Okay, so we need to set up over here then. I think that's what we need to do. Um, but yes, yeah, so if we go and look at the characters, let's take a quick look at Isaac. Um, you'll sort of see sort of, you know, direct sort of uh, comparisons, I would say, with things like RimWorld, like we mentioned earlier. So yeah, they've got their different sort of skills. There's firefighting, nursing, which is kind of like medical stuff. Uh, logging, got building, crafting, guarding, hunting, foraging, farming, and cooking. And then they have their assignments. So they kind of have an order of things, which I think are down here somewhere. There we go. So we can see that Isaac has got this order of priority. So everyone does firefighting as job number one. Then they go and kind of get better or heal others as number two. And then everything else, I think, yeah, it's autonomous. So it's kind of dictated by what they're good at or not. However, we do have... Who are you? Lorne is pretty good at crafting. And I don't think you're doing any crafting, are you? Hang on a minute. Hang on. Firefight... Oh, no, you are. Yeah, it's the, it's the number to the left. Yeah, that must be it. So yeah, firefighting is three... And that's your number one priority. Okay, so nursing is two. Yep, so you're doing that a second. Yeah, logging. You like logging. But yeah, you're not doing any logging. Okay, so maybe we should get Lorne to do some logging. Maybe not as number 10. Hang on. Um, what are you best at? Okay, Lorne isn't... Oh, you're quite... You're good at cleaning, but you hate cleaning. Okay. <laughs> that's very confusing, Lorne. Uh, okay, so yeah, so maybe let's get you doing some cleaning as, I don't know, job number seven or something. So firefighting first, then nursing, then then you're doing some building. Actually, yeah, you've got two plus in that. That's quite good. So do some building. Then how about job number four could be farming? Because you're really, really good at farming. Then number five could be logging. Uh, six could be crafting. Seventh is guarding. Eighth is hunting. Uh, have we got a nine? Yeah, ninth is cleaning. I don't think we need to do the others, do we? Do we need to do the others? Let's put... Um, hang on. Put that as 11th. And yeah, don't... Oh, we haven't got anybody that can cook. We've got... Oh, no, you're the only person that can cook. Okay, hang on a minute, Lorne. You might have to do some cooking, even though you dislike cooking. 
you are the only person that has any kind of ability with it whatsoever. So, um, okay, so we're going to have you doing firefighting, nursing, uh, building, because you're pretty good at that, then farming, then possibly cooking should be number five. Maybe cooking should be number five. So there you go. So lawn is sort of sorted. That will do the job. Right, okay, so Isaac, are you set up correctly as well? You're not going to do any of these things here at all. Lawn is going to be very busy. Lawn seems to be our best person. Um, foraging you can do. Farming you're okay at, actually. Do you know what? Let's make you chief farmer. Then you can go and forage. Um, you can do a spot of maybe hauling, actually. Could be job number six. Cooking seven, cleaning eight, ranching nine. Um, I know you're right at mining, actually. You've got one point in mining. Okay, let's make that your next best thing. So you can do some mining and then some farming and then everything else. But you're not going to do any of this stuff. Um, okay, we do need somebody that can do some building. So maybe we'll put you, meter, as number three building. Uh, you did like guarding. You're a fighter, aren't you, meter? So you can do guarding as number four. Um, farming is possibly number five. We don't have very many skills going on, do we? Number six for logging. Okay, but yeah, this is very familiar with, uh, if you play RimWorld, this is similar to the whole sort of RimWorld kind of job system. It's a very similar sort of thing. I think that will do for now. We've got people doing everything. There is only one person doing some hunting. Maybe Meter could do the hunting, possibly, if you're doing nothing else. Okay, there we go. That's fine. So they have got their kind of list of jobs now. So now we need to actually start chopping things down and we need to build ourselves a fairly basic house, I would say, with some bedrooms. And I'd like them to each have their own bedroom. But yeah, we do need to kind of move stuff over here as well. I'd like to move stuff over here. If we're going to sort of, you know, build over here, I kind of feel like we should move our stuff over here. So let's get a little sort of stockpile set up over here of just everything. Let's get everything done. So I think that's that. So add... Uh, yeah, we'll just sort of, um, we'll draw the stockpile on. Can we make that bigger? Oh no, I've done two stockpiles. Hang on, no, we want to make this one bigger. <laughs> um, yeah, add. Can we make it bigger, please? Um, oh, okay. Yeah, sort of like, oh, hang on a minute, there's a there's a bush in the way in that corner. That'll do. Oh, it's a bit wonkaloids. There we go, splendid. Right, and then in there, um, allow everything. Put everything over here, please. So they should, I think, if we unpause time, immediately start doing some hauling. Um, yes, we can see their job list down here is they're going to do eight lots of cutting. So I imagine, yeah, they're going to cut this grass out of the way. And then they're going to store 18 things. And oh, look at the top. They're sort of very happily sort of bobbing around as they walk over to here. OK, <laughs> that's nice. Um, I think up here somewhere we do have, there we go, items. So what have we got? Cotton seeds, October berries, they sound nice. Underripe meal beans, they sound like a thing you wouldn't want to eat. Some coins, some travel meal, some torches, some corn, grapes, ah, wooden arrows. Okay. Okay. Do we have sort of weapons? Because we're going to get attacked at some point. Uh, then some copper, then some corn seeds, and then some overripe meal beans. Do we not just have some regular meal beans <laughs> that are not either underripe or overripe? Just, yeah, you know, perfectly ripe. Clearly we don't. Okay, never mind. Right. So now they're going to do some um, some storing of things. So let's see. Can we get them to do this a bit quicker? Yes, we can. Okay, do you know what? Let's put it on to four. So they're all going to start hauling all of our things over into this, let's be honest, fairly gigantic kind of storage area. Possibly didn't need to be this big. I thought maybe they might have had more stuff, but... um. That's okay, look, so we can see they're bringing the stuff down. And then I think what we'll do is, let's then, I don't know, let's do some, let's select, hang on, if we zoom in, again, this is very sort of, uh, very rim -worldy thing. If we do that and double click, there we go. We can now forage those bushes. And that will at least get us some berries so we can eat. That's a good thing. And then I think as well, if we're going to clear this up, let's gather that log and gather that log we just gather these kind of fallen bits of wood because we might as well. Rather than spending all our time chopping down trees, we'll just have bits of tree that have already fallen down very conveniently nearby. So yeah, we'll take all of those bits of wood. Thank you very much. That could be helpful. There's a couple of bits there as well. We'll take those two. There we go. So plenty for you lot to do. And then, yes, they want to build a house. I'm thinking we build the house up here. That could be quite nice. And then put a huge, big kind of lookout tower up there. But yeah, our house could be kind of on this raised bit here. 
Okay, right, you three, keep on doing what you're doing. You're gathering wood, you're foraging, you're storing, it's all looking very good. Um, I think then, now can we, without any wood in storage, can we actually build anything? Does it allow us to kind of blueprint things even though we don't have the resources? So you can do quite a lot of stuff. There's quite a lot of stuff you can build. So obviously you can build structures, then there's furniture, you can build tables and chairs and everything else. Got lighting, there's decor. There are some decorative items, there's carpets and there's like sort of kegs and plants and you can unlock bookshelves and things a bit later on. Uh, and then yeah, there's sort of work things and defensive structures. Got kind of pointy sort of wall things. There's quite a lot going on. However, let's just get something simple, shall we? A nice, simple, straightforward wooden building will do the job right now. So I think if we just build ourselves a kind of, I don't know, a main sort of hallway type thing in here, like a main room like that, and they're going to have to do some chopping of that. And in here we can put some tables and chairs where they can eat and we'll put, you know, sort of work tables and a stove and all that kind of stuff. And then thing let's go back and do some walls then um yeah so wooden walls please so just put wooden walls like that and like that and down and across uh oh no not there <laughs> no 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 not no d not there how do we how do we say no um cancel build command yeah not that <laughs> That way madness lies. Although yes, you can build with sort of height and such like. Um, yeah, let's get let's get the walls in where they should be. There we go. That's much better. And we are going to need a door at some point. So just a regular wooden door going in like that. Okay, so now we can get in here. And then I think we need to have some very, very simple bedroom set up. Now, how big is this? Three, four. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, never mind. That's a, a bit unfortunate. And um, what we could do, we could have, we could have on a room at the back, a room at the back there. That could be, I know, that could be Isaac's room. And then we could have two rooms across the side that are a bit smaller. Let's have that. Okay, so um, Isaac's room can go there. And then we'll have a door there and a door there. Okay, and then we need to go back and get some floors. Okay, so this is, this is Isaac's room. So we'll have that, no, not at the top, <laughs> like that. There we go, wonderful. So that like that, and then these rooms here can, oh, crikey, um, they can just sort of go out like that. Okay, yep, that's fine. And then get some walls, and that will be all sorted. Then we'll have a fairly basic house. You do need to put roofs on as well. You need to actually apply the roofs particularly. You don't have to sort of, you know, in Rimworld they do it automatically. But in this you have to say, yep, yeah, do roofing, please. Um, we'll let them get on with some stuff first, because I think we've given them an awful lot of things to do. They're going to be here for a long time. There is only three of them, and they have quite a lot of jobs to do. Do you know what? Gather that log as well. Okay, so they're also gathering a mineral. Are they? Why are they gathering a mineral? Oh, they're trying their best to kind of get things done. They have got quite a pile of wood now, and they're not too far away from the um, from the stockpile. I mean, it could be nearer, couldn't it? It could be nearer. Do you know what? Let's remove <laughs> that big chunk of stockpile because it was a tad excessive, I would say. But okay, they're getting on with it. They're slowly but surely building stuff. They're getting there. It does need cleaning. It does need cleaning. It's looking a little bit grubby. But Joe, you know get it built first, then give it a little bit of a a little bit of a brush around. 190, 200 wood gathered. Okay, that sounds good. Um, how much wood do you need to make like a section of floor? Uh, six wood. Okay, right. So. We need quite a lot of wood. It needs a lot of wood to actually get this entire structure done. Okay, fine. They're going to be working on that for absolutely ages, it seems. But yeah, there's loads of wood lying around. There's a lot of wood just sort of lying around. Oh, there's some over here as well. That is excellent. We'll take that. And we will take that. Okay, so that should see as good for the wood to actually get everything set up. I do like this down here. I do like how you can see what they're doing, what their kind of job list is. That allows you to see exactly how busy they are. So, yeah, there's quite a bit of cleaning to do. Ooh, Isaac can level up. I like the way that when you put it on fast mode and they're doing something like building, it looks like they're just having a bit of a <laughs> a bit of a head bang. <laughs> That's very good. Okay, so yeah, Isaac, uh, I mean, he calls himself Dictator Isaac. King Isaac, should we call him, is, um, is yeah, joining in and getting on with chopping up wood and such like. Okay, um, right, so you can level up. 
So the dictator of the grungy shackles uh, is foraging October berries. That's probably a very sensible thing because, you know, we need food. Ah, level up. There we go. Uh, okay, let's level you up then. Dictator Isaac has acquired 1,700 XP and you've gone up a level. Your maximum health has crept up and you're better at ranged and nursing and cleaning and logging and crafting. Okay, right, that's very good. Can you two level up as well? Because that would be wonderful. That would be very exciting indeed. Oh uh, yeah, we do need somewhere inside to store some food. We do need a little kind of indoor storeroom. Um, because yeah, if the food is outside, it perishes a little bit quickly. However, we are giving them quite a lot of things to build right now. But yeah, I think maybe, I think maybe that's what we do. Um, I think over here, possibly, let's have, that can be our general kind of, just, you know, our sort of communal area. That's a bedroom. There's going to be two bedrooms there. So I think, yeah, maybe we have ourselves a kind of storage area just here. Let's just build ourselves a little kind of store thing just there. 168 wood required to build those things. Ouch. Okay. And they've got to remove all these bits and bobs as well. Okay. Fine. Fine. This is going to take a while. I sense. Okay. Don't cry. Build that. And that across there. And that across there. And we're going to need some doors because that's typically how you get in. Oh, I quite like that. Could we just have like a wooden, wooden doorway? We don't necessarily need a door there, just like an open kind of archway type thing. Oh, that's quite nice. I like that. And that's still enclosed enough. It's still indoors when we put the roof on eventually. Um, okay, where have they all gone? Are you all going to go and grab something to eat? Uh, yeah, you're all just sort of standing around. Or, or you're, yeah, I think um, Lorne is having a little sit down, eating some corn. Very nice indeed. Okay, right. Good job. Good job, folks. Yeah, do we need to move this a bit nearer? <laughs> I kind of feel like we should. Do you know what? Let's sort out some proper stockpile, shall we? Uh, let's have a stockpile. I mean, we'll put a stockpile in here. Um, I think let's have at least that there. That can just be for food. Um, and then everything else. Let's create a new stockpile. And we could... Yeah, we'll put the farm stuff down there. So we'll have another stockpile over there for now for everything else except food. And then we'll get rid of this stockpile. So destroy that. There we go. Right. So they have got some work to do in moving everything around. Also, it is raining and they have no beds and nowhere to sleep. You're going to have to sleep in the rain under the stars. Are there stars? Um, yeah, I think there are. I think they're stars. Slightly blurry <laughs> indeterminate stars but do you know what it's fun it, it's a rainy evening it's cloudy out there uh, okay right let's let them just get through quite a lot of these building jobs right everything else we've given them to do because there's foraging and storing and moving and cleaning and gathering minerals clearing these rocks out of the way there, there's an awful lot to do there is so much stuff for them to get done so um yeah lawn says i am distracted yes yeah, sorry lawn that's probably my fault oh, hang on a minute though before i forget um yeah, let's have a wooden wall going... Uh, one person's going to have a slightly smaller room. Oh, no, that's on the top. <laughs> no, no, no. Destroy the wall across the top. <laughs> I don't want a wall across the top. I want it in the middle like that. There we go. Wonderful. Yeah, one person is going to have a slightly smaller room. And then I think we probably should get the beds kind of set up. And meter can level up. Okay, that's very exciting. Right, okay, so here we go. Let's get... A bed set up for Isaac. And the beds are all different colours by the look of it. You've got a yellow bed there. And that is... That's a purple bed. Oh, okay, that's nice. And then whoever's going to have that room. And whoever's going to have that room. Okay, I imagine is that saying there's not enough resources. Probably not got enough wood. Have we got any wood at all? I suspect maybe we've used up all of our wood. Hang on. Go and gather all this stuff over here. There's loads of fallen trees. It's all very handy indeed. Right, so go and grab all of those. Are there any other fallen trees before we have to then start chopping trees down ourselves? I don't think there are. Lawn, Isaac, Meter. Oh, Meter can level up. Of course. Let's level you up. Okay. Oh, look, and you're asleep, so your eyes are shut. Okay. 1,700 XP for Meter. Um, health goes up a little bit. Cooking goes up. That's handy. Building and cleaning. Okay. Excellent. Right. I'm, I'm sensing the game isn't happy with something over here. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling that maybe we're lacking some resources. Uh, okay, right. 
let's start chopping down some trees. So let's, uh, oh no, that's, that's quite a lot of trees. Hang on, can we just, I think we can highlight those. Select oak tree, right, cut them down, please. Cut those trees down. When you wake up, let's put it onto super mega fast speed. Uh, when you all wake up, whenever that might be. Oh, there is a scheduling thing actually, isn't there? Hang on, hang on, schedule. Yeah, okay, I mean, let's make sure that they all go to sleep at that time. So that's two hours of sleep. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Let's make sure they all have eight hours of sleep. I mean, it might be beneficial to have somebody working through the night, but then they're going to be on their own, and that's all a bit sad. Um, unless we have meter working through the night, and then at least something is being done. Do you know what? For now, that's okay. And then, um, yeah, you can wake up and just have a bit of a snack. Wake up and do some eating, because that's you know, important to not being dead. Okay, there we go. Right, back on to uh, super speed, please. Because, yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to jump up and start doing stuff. So here we go. Um, oh, yeah, they're all they're all having little dreams. I'm dishevelled. I am gruntled with my clothes. <laughs> Dictator Isaac assigned cleaning to me. I joined the Sleepy Axes in 418. Oh, and they're all together having some berries. Oh, that's exciting. That's all very nice. OK, so could you get building, please? And also, I think we do need to possibly think about um, sort of farming as well. That's our current list of food. We don't have much in the way of food. Um, hang on, how do we do this? Work. Right, farm. Okay. So I think the Grinny Wanderers are visiting. Okay. Uh, visiting, I think, is okay. Are they visiting with, you know, axes and angry faces? Or are they just kind of popping by to say hi? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's build a little kind of farm plot. Uh, possibly here. We don't need anything too big, I don't think. So if we just, I don't know, 25 squares of farming just there. And type... Um, oh yeah, we need seeds, don't we? We've got seven lots of corn seeds. We do have quite a bit of cotton. We could plant some cotton. Okay, we'll put cotton in... Oh, 60 though, hang on. Put corn in there. Although that is way too big for a cornfield, because we've only got seven seeds. Um, and then, yeah, cotton, hang on, so work, farm, add, and then we want to get some cotton down, because I imagine with cotton, when it grows, we can use that to make clothes and such like. Um, let's put that over here. Does the soil matter? I'm not entirely sure the soil matters, so can we get, um, I don't know, let's not make it too big to start with. 36, there we go, and that can be for cotton. Okay, right, so now back on it, everybody. I mean, ideally, you'd build your rooms first. You'd get your bedrooms and everything sorted first. They are slowly but surely working on it. We now do have 154 wood, and I think they're getting more because, of course, they're chopping down these trees. Ah, who are you? Who set this thing up? Because we didn't do that, did we? Um, is that a bedroll? Okay, are they the visiting people? Where are the visiting people? Grinny! Hello, Grinny. How are you? Leader of the Grinny Wanderers. Just relaxing. Um, oh, dear. Right, OK. <laughs> Grinny has not much in the way of talent. Uh, firefighting one, logging one, guarding one. Oh, and building one. OK, you can do some building. Could we get Grinny to join us? Could we get Grinny to join us? Because that'd be quite nice. That would be very welcome. And then we could split this down here and have that as three bedrooms, you know, split across the side there. Um, I don't know. I don't know how we could get you on board. Um, do you know what? Isaac, hang on. So this is another thing about this game. You can take control of the character. Now, can I remember how we do it? Um, okay, hang on. Do we just right click? Okay, you can go and do this. Uh, Isaac, go and speak to Grinny. Go and have a chat with Grinny, please. So, hi, Grinny. How are you? conversation with Grinny. So there is Grinny with an amazing kind of amazing hair there. Look at that. That's very stylish. Ask what's on their mind. Advanced topics. Trade. Ask them to join. Okay. Ask what's on their mind. What's on your mind, says Isaac. I'm looking forward to grapes, says Grinny. Okay. <laughs> Good. I'm, I'm, glad you've, I'm glad you've got an ambition. That's nice. Um, I like grapes and Grinny is going to like that. I think grapes are worthwhile and Grinny likes that. Breacher skin. Meh. I don't like breacher skin. There are a few things worse than breacher skin, but only a few. Okay, we're, we're making Grinny like us. 
I think there is a moral obligation to stand up for the innocent. Oh, I am neutral. Okay, don't say that. What else is on your mind? Okay, yeah, so Greeny's a good person. What else? Anything else? I'm not in the mood for Raw Orc. <laughs> I don't like Raw Orc either. Okay, I mind Raw Orc. Ooh, so, okay, they're getting on. Overripe meal beans are to my liking. Okay, I love overripe meal beans. I, I don't know if you do or not. I think overripe meal beans taste fantastic. Oh, Grinny's, Grinny, he's just going to move in straight away. I think orcs are quaint. I don't like orcs. Oh, no, you are an orc, I think. Um, Okay, let's go back. Okay, I mean, we could trade with you. How could we do this? What have you got? Orc skin boots. Aren't you an orc? <laughs> That's a little bit weird, isn't it? Meter is okay with that, but Isaac and Lorne are not happy with the orc skin boots. And yeah, that's a little bit weird. Um, okay, you haven't really got anything worth trading, unfortunately. Okay, never mind. I mean, would you like to join us, Grinny? Rather than just sitting there on your own, would you like to join in? Ask to join. Would you be willing to join the Grungy Shackles? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm happy to swear allegiance to you and join the Grungy Shackles. We've got a new person. Grinny has joined. Hello, Grinny. Okay, right. This is very good. The only thing is we now do need an extra bedroom. We can resolve this. We can sort this nice and easy. Hang on a second. Build a wall. That's not stupidly high up, is it? No, it's not. Hooray. Right. And then we need to get a door. So another door can go uh, just... Hang on. Yeah, wooden, wooden door can go there. And then... We need another bed to go into there. Have we got... Oh, hang on a minute. Have we got wood left over? Have we got wood? Yeah, plenty of wood. Loads of wood. Okay, and we've got all Grinny's things, including the orc skin boots that nobody's really going to like, but okay. Um, yeah, so now let's see if we can get another bed sorted. Can we get another bed? Right, hang on. Furniture, beds, wooden bed. And let's put that one... I don't know, let's make it look a little bit different. Let's put that one over in that corner there. Why not? Okay, right. Move time on nice and quick. And while well, time is passing by, Grinny. Oh, Grinny has no jobs at all. Okay, so that can be number one. That can be number two. Um, Yeah, Grinny wasn't brilliant at many things. Guarding can be number three. Building can be number four. You do like... You like farming. You're just terrible at farming. So you can have farming as five... Cleaning is six, and ranching is seven. Uh, mining is eight, because you're not so bad at mining. Don't do... Oh, I could do with somebody doing some hauling, though. Um, I think that will do. Um, oh, no, hang on. Hang on. No, you're good at logging. Oh, no, you're quite good at logging. You don't mind logging, and you're okay. Okay, hang on. Let's push that down to, say, fifth or something. Okay, there we go. Right, so hopefully... Hopefully now we can get some people doing stuff. Oh. Noble of the Sleepy Axes. Okay, right, so they've, they've caught up with us. We've finally caught up to you, Dictator Isaac. Oh, it's nice using our name. You're called Hugs, and you've got purple hair. Oh, and you've got a hot pink kind of uh, sort of robe thing on. Can you join us, Hugs? You look amazing. Um, did you think Countess Kelly was going to let you leave the Sleepy Axes without consequences? We won't rest until you pay for your treachery. Prepare to die. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Hang on. The Sleepy Axes are raiding us. Um, right, where are they? Where are the sleepy axes? Now, they're down there. It's only Hugs. So Hugs is the only one coming in right now. Can we sort of draft you? Enlist. Okay. So, I mean, Meter. Meter is good at fighting. Uh, Meter does have an axe, which sounds like it could be good for chopping. So we'll enlist you. And then can you go and sort of melee that person and then grinny grinny has a wooden hammer lawn has an axe okay i think i think we should be okay so grinny if we enlist you and you go melee them as well i think we should be okay with muddling through right everybody wake up except isaac dictator isaac can just remain napping <laughs> it's fine oh no lawn is possibly gonna take some damage until you two actually join the action quickly Quickly. Oh, no, Hugs is taking some damage. Oh, there's... Oh, dear. They are getting really... Oh, there's, there's blood everywhere. The Sleepy Axes are retreating. I would say they look a little bit worse for wear, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> they look a little bit unwell. Um, okay, you're downed. What can we do with you now? Go to Hugs. 
execute hugs or capture hugs. I mean, we don't really have anywhere to put anybody. Can we just leave you there? Can they just sort of stay there? That would be okay, wouldn't it? Okay, don't don't have you enlisted anymore. You can go about your daily business. It's all fine. Right. And now they're awake. They're just going to go and do some building work. Okay. Oh, this is this is all fine. Yep, that's it. Keep building, please. Meet us as I am tired. If you build the beds, that might help, mightn't it? <laughs> build some beds. Um, also, we do need to put the roof on. Structure, roof, straw roof. I assume we have enough straw to do this. I'm not entirely sure we do. We'll put a roof there and a roof there and a roof there and a big roof like that. In fact, do they want individual roofs? No, that might look a bit weird. There we go. It's just one massive roof. Okay, right. And now, I mean, they are a bit, they're a little bit kind of covered in blood. They are in the rain, so hopefully that will, uh, hopefully that will wash off. In the meantime, Isaac's just, uh, just having a nice sleep. He just had a, ni a nice little nap over by the fireplace whilst everybody else was fighting on his behalf. Okay, wonderful. Oh, there we go. He's awake and he's a bit hungry. Um, yeah, excuse the very ill person over here. I'm sure they'll get up and go away at some point. Oh, here we go. That's how we would kind of dictate whether something is a cell or who owns it or whatever. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So yeah, the rooms have got their own kind of little kind of designated areas. The only thing is this one does not. I don't quite know why that one doesn't. Oh, is it because the doors aren't in? No, the doors aren't in on those ones either. Okay, I'm not entirely sure why that's been marked out as such. Right, we need some more wood. Uh, oh no, hang on. Chopping down trees is a thing that you're supposed to be doing, so that's fine. Right, okay. Come on, everybody. Come on. Come on. It. Oh, it's midnight. No, it's fine. You can sleep at midnight. That seems reasonable. Okay, the Snag Wanderers are visiting. There are some wonderful names in this. Okay, so we've got Snag and Charles over here, who are just kind of having a little look around. I mean, are they cleaning up? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, are they helping? I don't know. Are they helping? Grin. Somebody called Grin is moving things around. Who are you, Grin? <laughs> Why are you kind of joining in? Cats up and Grin are having a little chat around the fireplace. Oh, and look at that. The sun is coming up. Oh, that's very pretty. Look at that. The sun is rising around the campfire. I mean, at some point, we will have a place where you can go and live. That will be exciting. You know, I think they were helping move stuff around, which is nice of them. Thank you so much. Right, let's put time back on super fast. So second day of 419, year two of spring. Okay. Um, okay, so spring lasts so many years. Okie doke, right. Um, Isaac can level up. That is very good. Let's level you up immediately because it might make you better at doing the stuff. Okay, so here we go. What do you get then? So you get uh, mining plus one, logging plus one, foraging plus one, and farming plus one. Okay, that's very good. Right, so now can we just, can we just get a bit of a wriggle on, please? We need some more wood. Chop down the trees. <laughs> quickly, quickly, chop down many, many, many trees. All those trees over there. Select evergreen and cut them down. Really urgently, please. You might go and do some farming work, possibly. It looks like that is what you're doing. But really, I wouldn't mind you making, you know, beds. Oh, are you working on a bed? Are you working on a bed? Ah, now this is interesting. Yeah, instead of having like a research tree, I do quite like this. So instead of having like a research table and they go and unlock secrets of things, if you put something down that they're unfamiliar with, like here, we've put a bed down. We've not seen a bed before. We're kind of going, hang on a minute. How do we do this with a bed? What happens here? I'm not entirely sure how we do a bed. So we're kind of looking at this blueprint of a bed. Don't quite know what Catsup's doing there. <laughs> Catsup, get out of the not made bed. Away with you. Um, but yeah, so Lorne over here is now trying to understand the concepts of a bed. So Lorne is trying to learn all about wooden beds from looking at this kind of sort of blueprint type thing. And they're working it out in their head as to how to build a bed, which I do quite like. I like that. So it's not like you sort of unlock the secrets of beds and then you go and build beds. You kind of place on a blueprint and they go, right, hang on a minute. Hang on. Let me get the let me get the instructions out. How exactly do we do a bed? What is this all about? Which I think is very good. So let's move time on nice and quick. We have a great big pile of wood again, which is very good. How are we doing? I mean, that tree needs to be chopped down. Not quite sure why we're leaving that tree there. Oh, there we go. Uh, and get rid of those two as well. And lawn can level up. Well done, lawn. Is that your first level up? I think it might. Oh, no, is it your second? 
Hang on. Are you at level one or level two or level three? You're on level four. Oh my goodness. Um, cooking, mining, foraging, ranching. All going up. Very good. How about building stuff a bit quicker? That'd be wonderful. However, look at that. That is another Viv Wanderers are visiting. My goodness me. <laughs> there are a lot of visitors around. So many people popping by. This is nice. Hello, Viv. Viv just doing some cleaning up by the look of it. Okay. That's nice. Thank you very much. That's very welcome indeed. Right. So we have got some doors and such like him. We still have a lot of build actions to do. Quite a lot of cleaning. Quite a bit of storing going on. Tilling, however. They're doing a good job over here of actually tilling this field. That's very good. Got a dictator Isaac actually getting on with doing some farming work there. Um, okay, Ginny wants a what a Grinny, sorry, wants a one P bed. <laughs> um Okay. Uh, I think I I'm assuming we can do that. Uh, I just don't know how because the beds aren't there yet, are they? Owner. Okay, Isaac can have that bed. Okay, even though it's not there. And uh I know Lorne can have that one. And Meter can have that one. And Grinny can have that one. Okay, so when they get round to making the beds, then you know, we've kind of outlined who's going to have what bed. The beds just you know, don't sort of exist right now. But very soon they will. I don't think there's that much building work left to do. Look, only 143 more things to build. Possibly we started a tiny bit too big. It's fine, they'll muddle through. Okay, so another day rolls around. How are we looking for food? We have got quite a few October berries, so that's not so bad. And Isaac is working very hard. Isaac's leveled up again. Good job, Isaac. My goodness me, you're proving to be a very capable leader. Okay, so there we go. Isaac levels up again. So level four. So ranged goes up, logging goes up, and foraging goes up. Okay, so all good things. However, you have also, when you do this, that means you've completed the final tilling action, which is very good. Now, where are you going, Isaac? Where are you going? You're going to go and grab... Oh! That's our food and stuff. Hang on, isn't that our, like, packaged meals? Yeah, there's our travel meals. Just over there. Why have you left that over there for that long? Oh, my goodness me. Okay, well, there you go. You should be putting them over here, I think, because that's where food should go. Um, Yeah, okay, right. So we have got some sort of things to do with regard to moving stuff about. And Meter can level up. Okay, let's see what you do. So now Meter is level three. Building, cleaning, logging, farming, and hauling are all a bit better. But we're still not quite ready to finish building our little sort of <laughs> edge of house here. All those walls over there. All the beds. Okay, I think maybe we just need to sort of leave them sitting there doing nothing. Oh, look at that. They've planted some stuff. The corn's gone in. <gasps> the corn has gone in. Okay, that's exciting. Finally. And then, yes, you've got all sorts of planting to do over there with regard to cotton and such like. Okay, let's just move time on a tiny, tiny bit. We've only got 12 wood. <laughs> okay, we're going through the wood very quickly. Hang on a minute. Let's just chop down some more trees. Okay, so it's looking quite good over at the house. All we need is to get this little bit of wall done here. Oh, bye-bye, Viv Wanderers. Cheerio, Viv. I think the others went as well. Um, okay, so yeah, we need to get that wall done just there. Hopefully that can be... Oh, there we go. There we go. Meter herders. Go on, meter. Finish that bit off. So get that done. Then get those two walls and a door. And then we can work on the beds. Because that should be not much in the way of building actions. Oh, no, there's the roof. There's the roof to get done, isn't there? Okay, now Meter is having a look at the bed. Just trying to figure out exactly how beds work. I mean, yeah, it, they're quite common things. I thought maybe you've seen one before. Maybe it's more the concept of how to build a comfortable bed rather than understanding what a bed is. It's kind of understanding, you know, how the sort of frame fits together and where the mattress goes and how big bits need to be and all that kind of stuff. But okay. So there we go. Oh no, Lorne's done it. Lorne has done it. We have a bed. We've got a bed, everybody. Tis a joyous moment. Um, and Ginny just, uh, Ginny, I keep saying Ginny, Grinny just came and, I don't know what you did, hit the floor or something. Okay. Okay. So we have 178 wood. That seems quite good. And hopefully that is enough to get the other three beds and that one bit of wall done. But yeah, look at that. I think now it's all looking good. And the Law Law, Law Law Wanderers are visiting. Could we? Are they going to pop over here? There we go. There we go. Isaac, after the auto save's done, could we pop over here and have a little chat? Because it might be quite handy if we're able to trade with them. If they have any kind of, well, any food would be nice or any corn seeds would be really, really useful. 
because yeah we have got a kind of field of corn there but we haven't got much in the way of corn seeds to plant um okay so would you like to do some trading corn seeds yeah okay this is exciting so one two three four they've got four of those we'll take four of those you've got beef stock with berries Ooh. You've got three of those. They are worth 4.4 trade money. So we need to get 15 kind of 15 worth of stuff. However, we do have 15 coins, but we could trade something else away first. Um, and we have got some copper. What if we give you three lots of copper? That means we're in trading away 14 coins. What if we give you... Um, we've got some cotton. We've got a little bit of stone. Oh, that's not worth very much at all. That's hardly worth anything. We could give you the orc skin boots because nobody likes those. People don't like those. So you have those. Okay, that's good. Keep the grapes. Keep the copper. The copper that we've got. Um, do you know what? I don't know if this is a good trading deal or not. Do you know what? We've got 159 bits of wood. How about we give you, I don't know, 40 bits of wood for one and a half trade. Okay, so we're gonna give away 10 of our coins, but we are going to get some corn seeds and then some lovely beef stock with berries, some proper actual food. Uh, do you know, yeah, why not? Yeah, the trade is accepted, that's all fine. Uh, how else are you, Law? Like, what is on your mind? Um, oh, hang on, yeah, it's paused, hang on a second. So uh, Isaac says, what's on your mind? And Lola says, there are few things worse than orc skin. Um, okay, so do we agree? I mean, hang on, can we bring up, can we bring up your kind of, your sort of thoughts on things? Opinions. Um, you, hang on, scroll down, scroll down. You dislike, dislikes orc skin. I don't like orc skin. Yeah, we're telling the truth. Oh, you hate corn. <laughs> we made you plant a load of corn. You do, however, love hats, which is very good. Um, okay, cooked beef is for winners. Yeah, we like cooked beef. I like cooked beef. Lola will like that, but Meter will not. But you know what? That's fine. We'll impress our guests. We can impress Meter at some other point. Uh, I think cooked beef tastes like warmth. Okay. <laughs> I don't care for orc leather. Um, I hate orc leather. Do you know what? We might finish our chat with you because I don't want to keep annoying uh, one of our own people. Um, okay. That's nice. Thank you for popping by. That's lovely. End the conversation. A pleasure to have a chat with you. I think, I think another bed is done. Yes. And... Lola is. What are you doing? Why do they keep going over to the beds? Are they cleaning underneath the beds? Right, look, I think, I think we have ourselves three beds done. And what's Lawn doing? I don't know what Lawn's doing. He's going around and cleaning up, I think. Um, and then, yeah, if we could complete this bed and give Grinny their bed, that means that everybody will then have a bed. And you should. I think, yeah, we should see in a few... What did we say? 10 o'clock was bedtime, I think. So at 10 o'clock, we should see them going to bed. Hang on, have we got enough wood to complete to complete the bed? Um, yeah, it is just wood. I don't quite know where the pillow and the sheets come from with regard to that. That's fine. It's okay. We don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, so we should see them coming into bed. But there we go. You can sleep on a proper bed. Hooray. Okay, that's very exciting. You're on a proper bed. Um, Lawn should be over there going to bed. And um, yeah, poor Grinny didn't actually get their bed sorted. Whereabouts are you, Grinny? You're just having a sit down by the fireplace. Okay, that's fine. Do we need to make our own fireplace? I kind of feel like we should probably make our own fireplace. Is that a thing we can do? Heat! Oh yeah, this might be sensible. Let's make a little kind of fire pit out the front just there. Um, we haven't got the stone. We need six stone. Oh, okay, there's plenty of stone over here. I imagine, um, yeah. There's two stone in that, so gather that, gather that, and gather that. There we go. That will do the job. Right, I think I just want to get the roof done. I want to get the house sort of complete. And then we're going to drop some bits and bobs in the house. Grinny is just sleeping <laughs> in the doorway with the door open. You could have let Isaac have, yeah, have the pleasure of having their own room with the door closed for the very first night. Um, okay, I like the fact they've just... <laughs> <laughs> right there. Oh, Lola's doing something to Isaac. I don't know what that was. Um, yeah, I do quite like the fact that he's in the doorway. That's very silly. Okay, right. So we'll try and get things sped on to the morning. But yeah, in terms of their great big list of things they need to do, it's not actually too bad. It's not too bad at all. Oh, we've got 61 cotton. We've only got two cotton seeds. Okay, I completely misunderstood the whole thing about the cotton there. 
I just noticed that, oh dear. <laughs> we have got five pumpkin seeds. Grinny's 1p bed wasn't satisfied. Ah, Grinny's bed is done, and now they're very happy. Okay, that is very good. Yeah, maybe we just, maybe we get rid of that. There's no point. I don't think there's anything planted in there, is there? It doesn't look like it. Destroy that. That can, that can go away. That's a, a bit of a wasted effort. However, we could add a smaller farm. Uh, oh, that's a, oh, that's a very small farm. There we go. Like that, because we have got uh, some pumpkin seeds. So why don't we put some pumpkins in there? And at least that is something. Uh, out of season. Ah, bother. Okay, so not pumpkins. Uh, we can't do that. Have we got... What else have we got? We've got some stone, got some underripe meal beans. I mean, do we want to plant the meal beans? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that's a shame about the pumpkins. Um... Okay, do you know what? No, it's fine. Destroy that for now then. We'll just have the um we'll have the corn over there and hope that that's going to be enough. Right now, do we have the roof on yet? Is the roof on our place? It doesn't look like the roof's on because I can see shadows. So, do we now need to get building a roof? Um is that what you're doing here? Ah, yes. I think Lorne is doing the roof building because there are now shadows appearing. Um there was a thing where we could we could see this somehow. How did we see the roof? I can't quite recall how we saw the roof. I assume, yeah, look, we can sort of see it coming along in a shadow. So I think they are very slowly, very surely building the roof. That will take them to the end of their build actions, I think. Okay, that's fine. I think maybe then, hang on, hang on. We can do some more, um, some more foraging. That's quite good. So we'll forage, um, hang on, come out of that. Forage those 17 bushes. We'll get some more berries from those. And is there... We'll grab that tree as well. Is there an animal nearby? Are there any animals nearby that we could possibly go and you know, hunt? Because we might want to go and do that. Um, animals? No. There's nothing in the animals tab at all. There are no animals. Okay. Never mind. That's fine. And oh, there you go. Lorne and Meter have learned wooden beds. Okay, right, that's very handy as well. Right, so yeah, we need to just make sure that they finish the roof. But I think in here now, let's lay out uh, you know, other bits and bobs, extra things that we need to do with, you know, sort of like tables and chairs and work and all that kind of stuff. So some work benches. So we've got crafting bench, a butchering table and a stove. I think we need all of those things in. They seem like very important things. So hang on a minute. We'll put the crafting bench there, because that's near all of the... Well, it's near sort of resources over there. We'll put some in there as well. And then we want to get the stove in, because that makes sense, because that's going to be near the food. And then, do you know what? Here we just put the... Do you want to put the buttering table next to all these other things? Does it make mess? I don't know. Do you know what? We'll find out. We shall see. Okay, so then we've got a kind of little work thing going on. Can we now make a table and chairs? That would be nice. Um, right, okay, we can't make a large table because that requires building three and we don't quite have that yet. But we can make, oh, we can make the, <laughs> we can make the tiniest table you can imagine. That is, that is a very dinky little table. Okay, <laughs> I was thinking like a gigantic kind of dining table, but no, we'll put in the world's smallest table and we'll have a chair. <laughs> These are tiny. We'll have a couple of stools. Do you know what? We'll have four stools around the edge. I mean, that just looks bizarre, but okay, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, good. Right, there we go. At least we've got some basic things in. Uh, and then possibly some lighting. Let's get... We've got some torches, haven't we? We've got seven torches. So let's put a couple of torches around the front of the building, just so we can actually find it. And then maybe just one in here. I'm always a bit dubious about putting a flaming torch inside a building made entirely of wood. It seems like a disaster waiting to happen, but okay. Um, we could, a bronze sconce. Oh, we use copper. Oh, so we could make that if we wanted to. Oh, that's exciting. So we could have, hang on, hang on. In your room, let's do that. And then we need to gather some copper. But I think this is copper, isn't it? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Just do a quick bit of gathering of this. Just grab, uh, I don't know, grab those bits there. That'll do. Okay, so we're going to grab some copper, which is nice. Uh, and then we can put a kind of fancy bronze wall sconce thing over there. I think they're doing well with the roof. Um, is that... Ah, visibility. There we go. Canopy. So, uh, nope, it's not canopy. 
can we say? Ah, roofs, there we go. So put the roof on. Yeah, okay, so they've done that bit and they're working on other bits. The progress is slow but steady with the roof. Okay, that's okay, right, take that off then, that's okay. Yeah, we can we can sort of see what they're doing via the shadow, which is okay. Uh, right, is there anything else we need? Um, I mean, decor, carpet, oh, nowhere near getting that. Um, a crate, a plant. How about a nice plant in this room, just to make it look a little bit jollier? Yeah, this room is way too big. I possibly have built this room very, very excessively big. <laughs> look at that, that is, that's huge. And here we go, look, they're looking to try and understand how to build these things, because they've never seen these things before. So they're going, hang on a minute, hang on. How do I put a table together? It's a little bit like me if I was looking at some instructions as to how to put a table or a stool. I look at the instructions for a long, long time. And then I get all the uh, sort of nuts and bolts and screws and everything. And I put them all into little piles. And then I go ahead and try and build something. And yeah, it probably goes wrong and falls apart. But I kind of imagine that's what they're doing now. Just trying to work out how it all kind of fits together and how best to make a stool or a table or whatever it is. Okay, there we go. Wonderful. Uh, is there anything else that we should possibly be thinking about uh, building? I can see that we have actually got some more corn planted, which is good. That's very handy. Um, yeah, work-wise, what about resources? A tannery. I don't think we need that quite yet. I don't think we need a tannery right now. That's probably a little bit much. Um, Heat-wise, yeah, we've got the fire pit. That will do. Um, I think, hang on, what about storage? Shelves, no, we need building three. I think we've pretty much got everything that we're going to need. Um, walls, oh, no banners. <gasps> a flag. A flag is very important. 12 cotton. Oh, we could put a flag outside the front. We have got some cotton. Probably we should be using it to make like clothing and stuff, but no, we're gonna put a flag out the front because yay flags. Okay, we have a couple of level ups to do. So I don't know how long Grinny's level up has been sitting there, but okay, Grinny, there you go. You can level up and you're level two. You became better at melee fighting and logging and farming. Very nice. And then Lawn has leveled up. I mean, you must be... What, level five possibly now? Yeah, level five, so your health has gone up. Cooking, you're actually good at cooking and building and hauling. Level five ability. Okay, we get a special ability. Rolling level five ability. Oh, we get a fancy ability at level five. Okay, this is good. Um, okay, so what do we have here? Choose cooking active ability. Plus three to cooking skill for two hours. A one hour cooldown after use. Okay, so you're you're going to be good at cooking. Okay, you are quite good at cooking, I think. You have got, or you dislike cooking, however. Even though you might actually be our cook, you don't really like doing it. Okay, that's a shame. Um, or you can have plus three to nursing skill, so you can make people better. You've got, you don't mind doing that. You've got a two in that. Or um, plus three to building. Um, I mean, you don't like doing the cooking, but you're very, I would say very good. You're better at it than most of the people. So... Although you might dislike it, we're going to give you a cooking ability. There we go. Okay, wonderful stuff. Oh, I like this. I like how this is all coming together very nicely indeed. Do you know what, though? I think with this done, with our very basic sort of little uh, basic kind of shack, I suppose, set up, I think we will finish things up for now. How is the roof looking? Uh, oh, we're struggling for... Oh, it's wood. Okay, right, we need some more wood. Hang on a minute, hang on. I was going to say we'll wrap things up, but we'll go and chop some trees down. We'll tell them to chop trees down. Um, select oak tree. 13 of those. Cut those down. And I think there were some, yeah, there's a log in there as well. We'll go and grab that log because getting the logs is nice and easy. Also, there is a log over there as well. Nice and straightforward. Um, yes, with that done, I think we will finish things up for now. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I like how this is working. I'm looking forward to, you know, developing our little kind of place a bit more. And then, yeah, you can add kind of other levels, as we've sort of seen, you know, potentially inadvertently by trying to do the building stuff, you can add other levels. So we could have like uh, some stairs going in here or something, and they could go up to another floor, and there could be some more bedrooms, like a balcony or something. We could just have a slightly bigger kind of building, just nice and stacked up, which I do like the idea of. So I think, um, yeah, we'll finish up for now, and then we'll come back next time and just see how we get on with Isaac and Grinny and Meter and Lawn. Because, yeah, I like this. I'm enjoying this. So, I mean, yeah, we'll finish up for now. Hope for next time when we come back, we can sort of uh, progress things a little bit better, I would say. We can maybe, you know, get some of these things in here. And then we can start the very important work 
of making hats, because Isaac does love a hat. Where are we? Hang on. Where is it? Opinions. He loves hats. Isaac, the dictator of the grungy shackles, our little kind of, our exclusive little club here, he, he loves hats. So I think next time we make some hats, I assume that's over here on the crafting table. So, uh, so yeah, I think that's the plan for next time. We uh, try and gather some food, but more importantly, we make some very, very lovely, exciting hats because that sounds wonderful indeed. So there we go. That's what we can do next time out, but we shall finish up for the moment. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in noble fates. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Unic, your time is now. And you have missed, Kunig. <laughs> this is this is unacceptable, Kunig. And Ash's caravan has been ambushed by man-hunting chinchillas. <laughs> You're gonna land on my potatoes. <laughs> that is just not the done thing. Oh, there's a lot of them. One, two, three. These guys have got amazing hair. I'm delighted that we've actually done something and it's worked.